most photogenic chicken I've ever met. Yeah. That's why we call her princess. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Kara Dixon and today I am at Buck Road Beach with Martha Mugler. Now Martha, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely. Can you tell me what you're running for? I am running for the Virginia House of Delegates in the 91st District. All right, and who are you? Who is Martha? Oh my gosh, I am someone who's been uh, living in this community for uh, most of my life. I've lived in the 91st District and um, raised my family here, work here, live here and my heart is here. I would describe myself as uh, a dedicated public servant, a long-serving uh, Hampton School Board member and um, elected to that office in 2008 and been working on uh, behalf of teachers and children in this community for you know, over a decade, um, committed to the community and, and uh, love being here, love living here. I'm picking pumpkins for uh, getting married next week and <laughs> so I'm getting decorations for, for the tables. Um, I decided to run because um, you know I originally ran for school board when my children were in school and they are now grown. Um, my youngest child is in college mm -hmm. now and so it seems like the right transition for me to take the experiences I have gained in um, public office at the local level up to the state level. I've gotten a lot of really great experience working on the school board, working on budgets, uh, forming policy, working with others, collaborating with others to make good decisions for uh, our young people and our community. And um, so I think I have a good skill set to take to Richmond and uh, it's, it's time for me to try something new and I am, you know, dedicated to and committed to and invested in this community. I went to elementary school in Hampton okay. and then I went to middle and high school in Pocosa. Okay. And then uh, settled back here in Hampton. Mm -hmm. Um, and have been here ever since. Oh, goodness, they're darling. <laughs> very sweet. Very, very sweet. I'm Martha Butler. How are you? Hey, John Hi. I'm handed it to the House of Delegates okay. in the 91st District. All right. The first question is, what do you think is the biggest issue the Commonwealth is facing? Um, for me, the biggest issue the Commonwealth is facing um, is twofold, actually. Um, there's so many issues that are important in Virginia, but uh, I believe that uh, we really need to focus on education in Virginia um, and that we need to compensate our teachers fairly and appropriately, bring their salaries up above the national average, and expand opportunities for early childhood learning so um, that young people, especially our youngest learners, can enter kindergarten ready to learn and that they're on a level playing field with their peers. What do you hope to get accomplished if elected? Well, there are a lot of things I hope to get accomplished. One of the first things I'd like to get accomplished is, is uh, assisting in expanding uh, four-year-old preschool opportunities for Virginians and making sure that we have um, a level playing field for our, our youngest learners as they enter into public education or private education, but that they're on, you know, on par with their peers as they enter and ready to learn. What can Virginians do personally to make the Commonwealth a better place to live? What Virginians can do to make the Commonwealth a better place is to exercise their right to vote, first of all, and make sure that they are um, getting out and uh, expressing themselves and expressing their concerns and sharing their concerns with people that are in a position to make decisions about the Commonwealth. Um, I think that's the first and foremost thing that Virginians can do. Hello. My favorite home cooked meal is probably going to be fried scallops. That's something my mother made for me. I don't have it very often anymore. Um, but um, I'd have to say that's my favorite. What did you think you're going to be? 
Um, you know, when I was growing up, I thought I might be you. I thought I might be a news anchor. <laughs> so I was educated for that. And the last question is, if you could meet anyone in history, who would it be and why? Um, I think if I could meet anyone in history, it would be Eleanor Roosevelt. I think she was a woman who was ahead of her time and did so many things for women at that time. Uh, so she was, she was a real trailblazer for women and, and that would be someone I'd love to meet and have a conversation.